Rational people think at the margin. Few decisions in life are black and white. Most things involve some shade of gray. What that means is we're thinking not about doing something in its entirety or doing something not at all, but doing a little bit more here or there. Economists call that thinking at the margin. Jadon Wright is a college student who thinks at the margin. Jadon is a senior with a heavy course load. She needs a lot of time to go to classes and to study at the library. But she also needs to make some spending money. So twice a week, she works for several hours at the college's alumni office. Hi, Mr. Cohen. Hi, my name is Jadon Wright, and I'm calling from Wesleyan University's um, annual fund. Jadon's problem is that she doesn't always have enough time to work at her campus job. But she doesn't have to quit her job. She can adjust her schedule in increments. I try to um, see what's coming up in the week and, and balance those things out. Um, sometimes I may have a lot of schoolwork to do, so I may cut back on my working hours. And sometimes I may not have that much schoolwork to do, and so I'll increase my working hours. Jadon makes her best decisions by thinking at the margin. That's what businesses do. General Motors, other auto companies do that kind of analysis all the time. Should we produce one more car or should we call it quits? If we produce one more car, what if nobody buys it? Uh, what if we drive down the price of our own product by oversupplying, by creating a glut? So again, the marginal analysis question is not where have I been, but where do you stand now? What could you do with the next dollar in your pocket, with the next five minutes of time that you have to allot? The theater business in New York City also practices marginal analysis. In recent years, Broadway has been setting attendance records. But even in good times, many seats still go unsold. So theater owners and producers created TKTS. It's a discount sales outlet in Times Square, where theater goers can buy half-price seats a few hours before the performance. It's a great deal for everyone. The customers get a bargain, and the theater owners and producers increase their revenues. If you're a theater manager, and I look at my house, and I look at the theater, and I realize I've only sold three quarters of my tickets. Well, I'm willing to you know, discount the remaining quarter of the tickets because I'd rather have one quarter of the price or one half the price of a ticket rather than have those tickets go, have those seats go totally empty. So at the margin, you know, the marginal cost, I'm, I'm, uh, marginal revenue I'm gaining is really you know, the, the choice between an empty seat or a seat sold at half price. Economists assume that rational people will only act if the marginal benefit of an action exceeds the marginal cost. Jadon will adjust her schedule so that she can make money at her job and still have enough time to study. Broadway theater producers will price their tickets to maximize their profits. They'll both make better decisions by thinking at the margin, whether it's how to manage her time, in Jadon's case, or how to price unsold theater seats. <laughs>